Welcome to WCBS880.com. I am Felix De Jesus, and you are watching Yankees Daily. This program is brought to you in part by Billy Sports Bar and Lounge, the place to be before and after the game. The New York Yankees will play the first of a four-game series versus the Seattle Mariners tonight at Safeco Field. It is the first game of a season-long 11-day, 10-game road trip, also featuring stops in Oakland three games and Boston three games. The Yankees play 17 of their next 23 games away from Yankee Stadium. They went 6-1 and one on their just-completed homestand, sweeping a four-game series against Boston and taking two of three from Toronto. Today we have an interview with the general manager of the Toronto Blue Jays, J.P. Ricciardi. J.P., the first question is, uh, you guys come into Yankee Stadium and uh, the Yankees are playing well. They've been playing really well for a long time now. And, uh, you know, we saw them up in Toronto about a week ago. They got a really good club. You know, they're deep. Their lineup's deep. Uh, their, their bullpen's really kind of taking shape now once they you know, use is taken off down there. And, um, you know, they got a really good club, and you know, right now I think they've separated themselves in this division. And uh, you know, we know coming in here is a tough, tough task for us. JP, at the start of the season, there were high hopes for the Toronto Blue Jays. They have great pitchers uh, coming up. Uh, what's the news on Markham, the other uh, youngsters that you have? Markham's going to be fine. He'll be ready to go next year. He'll be like 17 months post-op. He'll be fine. Uh, Jansen will be back up here at some point. Our young kids have all, you know, gone through their surgeries and done well, except for McGowan. He's probably the one guy that's going to take a little bit longer. But, you know, we're pitching four rookies behind Halliday right now, and they're all doing a good job for us. So, you know, I think uh, we knew we were going to be a little bit of a tough year in a sense of getting a lot of young kids playing time this year. But, you know, as we go forward, the, the most experience we can get with the guys is only going to help us for next year. You're in kind of a, a little bind, JP, because you have some stars, you have that pitching uh, that's coming up, and uh, then you got to get rid of some players to make everything fit, uh, like the case of Holiday, maybe Alex Trios. Uh, what do you see uh, Toronto the next year or so? Well, I think we've got some really good uh, corner players. You know, Lind and, and Hill are very good offensive players. Uh, we got a kid, Snyder, coming that we think is going to be a very good player. we got some other players coming that we think are going to get up here. I think for us, you know, we're in a little bit of a transition phase in the sense that, uh, you know, you don't have to be good in this division. You have to be great. And we're not great yet. And I think, you know, anything we can do as far as our development that helps us get to the point where we could build a core to continue to get better is only going to be, the, you know, is going to be the best thing for us to do. The Yankees have had a great couple of weeks, but this division, this league kind of changes every one or two weeks. They had trouble with Chicago. Now they beat Boston. Who do you think are going to be the teams that are going to be there at the end? Well, I think, you know, we're, we're pretty late in the season now, and I think it's starting to take shape. But I think the three teams in our division that are really strong are the ones that have been strong from the beginning, Tampa, Boston, and New York. And, you know, whoever plays well down the stretch is going to be the team that wins it. But this is a good club over here. They're really deep. I still like the Red Sox. I think that they got a lot of talent. And, you know, Tampa, you can't rule them out. They're young. they got a lot of confidence. And, you know, they uh, they got a lot of ways to beat you. So, like I said earlier, it's not a division you have to be good and you have to be great. And, unfortunately, you know, one team's going to win the division, but three teams are probably capable of being playoff teams. For Toronto, uh, what can they expect? The fans, uh, they want to compete next year. What can J.P. Ricciardi offer them for next year? Well, I think, you know, we have to be realistic. I think that the, the reality is in our division, it's not cyclical. There's two teams that are always at the top, and you've got to find a way to break through from them. I think what we're going to do is just continue to develop and continue to try to be the best club we can be and, uh, and try to just put ourselves in a position that hopefully those two teams slide a little bit. We could take advantage of that. You still have the radio show, J.P.? Uh no, no, I get rid of it. You know, I, I, I open my mouth too much, so uh, I learned that my wife told me to get the hell off it. <laughs> what was it fun? I like talking to the fans. You know, I think that's great. I think it gives them a, a little bit of insight as to what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it. And, you know, the fans are great. They, you know, they like to, whether it's a compliment or a complaint, you know, I think you can at least handle it. But, uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, too many people listen to it, and uh, it can get you in trouble. But it was fun. I, I got to leave you with this. Uh, you have two kids. One of them imitates all the ball players. Uh, where do you get that from? Oh, he watches a lot of games. You know, he's around the players all the time, and you know they play a lot of baseball. But uh, it's funny because he did Posada for him up in uh, up in uh, Toronto, and then Cano just saw him and he, he called him over and he did it for him. So he, uh, you know, like every little kid, that's the way it should be. You watch kids and you emulate them, and you know there's so many good players that you can watch play. But they're fortunate; they get to see a good player every day was brought to you in part by Billy Sports Bar and Lounge, the place to be before and after the game. Thanks for being with us.